going on everyone? DSP here and welcome to this week's weekend preview video. Um, this week is going to be a pretty damn good week because we've got one really outstanding game I've been waiting for for quite a while and another game that's been getting very good ratings as well. Uh, and so what I'm really talking about is Fallout New Vegas and then Vanquish. Um, I'm picking them both up on Tuesday of this week. Unfortunately, there is no midnight release in my area for either of these games, so we will be uh, watching them on the release day, probably later on in the afternoon after I get a chance to play them. Um, just so everyone knows, a lot of people have been telling me you should start Vanquish first because it's a shorter game, but to be completely honest, I am dying to play Fallout New Vegas. I mean, I absolutely loved Fallout 3, everything about it. From everything I'm hearing about Fallout New Vegas, it's going to be outstanding, so I'm going to have to jump into that game first. What I might end up doing is playing it for several hours and then maybe try out Vanquish and go back and forth during the week. Um, now just so everyone knows, I did reserve the Collector's Edition of Fallout New Vegas, which seems to have a lot of neat goodies. Um, one thing that I really like is it actually comes with a pack, a deck of playing cards that are like, you know, post-apocalyptic playing cards from Vegas. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Really excited about that. Um, now, from what everyone is saying about this game, it is the longest, probably one of the longest, if not the longest, video game ever created that has a solid ending. Meaning, sure, MMOs are probably longer than this game, but overall, other games really just will not compare to the length and breadth that this game is going to give us. Um, the strategy guide is officially, it's been documented, like I think Guinness came out and started counting pages for the Book of World Records, it is officially the longest strategy guide ever written in human history for any game whatsoever, any video game. So that should tell you something. The game is so damn long, it needed the longest strategy guide ever created. That's pretty cool. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take it slow. I'm going to admit, I am going to buy the strategy guide for this game. Usually I don't buy the strategy guides, but I bought it for Fallout 3. It really added to my experience, so I'm going to buy it for this game. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might, I might actually try to go for a complete... 100% playthrough where I do every optional mission in the game that, you know, would give you achievement points, for, for example. I'm probably not going to do every single optional mission because from what I'm hearing, there's like something like 27 main story missions and like over 90 optional missions, but they're not all the kind from Fallout 3 where you get achievements when you beat them. There are going to be like major optional missions that give you those achievements, but there's going to be a lot of minor side stuff as well. Um... But I think what I'm going to try to aim to do is to try to possibly max out my levels, try to do as many of the optional missions as possible, at least try to do all of the achievement optional missions. But I'm also not going to try to cheat, <clears throat> meaning I'm not going to be every fucking second looking at the strategy guide, how do I do it, how do I do it, how do I do it? Because honestly, that takes away from the gameplay experience for me. I think what I'll do is I'll look up what the missions are, I'll try to do them, myself without, you know, without fucking up, which I did a lot in Fallout 3, um, and then go from there. And if I screw it up and I can't figure it out or I get lost, then I might use the strategy guide. Um, but I think it's going to be a great experience. I mean, so many people are now telling me this is what they're waiting for. Um, I can't wait to jump into that game. Now, Vanquish also, I've heard a lot about, I've seen a couple preview videos. It looks like a really solid third-person shooter. Um, and unfortunately, what a lot of people have been saying is this game is good and it's going to unfortunately get overlooked because it came out the same day as Fallout New Vegas. And you know what? Unfortunately, I do get the feeling that's probably exactly what's going to happen. When you, This week when it comes out, what game do I get? Everyone's going to go out there and buy New Vegas. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to do a full playthrough of it on the channel, DSP Gaming, so that way you get an idea of what it's like. And maybe if you like it, you can pick it up a little bit later this year. Um, I know that obviously... No one has the kind of time that I do to play games. I mean, this is my full-time job right now, uh, being self-employed, making uh, videos for YouTube. So for me, obviously, I could do both games, but for, you, for everyone else, I know fall is going to take so much time out of your schedule that you're probably not going to have time to do anything else. So I'll be playing Vanquish. We'll check it out together. We'll see if we like it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if anything else is coming out this week um, because, honestly, it's really weird. It, it's just a weird week where... There's been games coming out for the PS Move, and um, they're weird. They're like, they have release dates, but they don't. Like, TV Superstars was supposed to come out at the end of this month, but it came out last week, which no one expected. And then other games, like The Shoot, were supposed to come out last week, and now they're at the end of the month, 
and I'm really confused. It seems like three to four PS Move games are supposedly coming out at the end of the month now, which I don't understand. Next week is actually the busiest release week in the entire year. There are more games coming out on Tuesday of next week than any other day this entire year. Uh, I mean, there's like something like seven major releases, of which I'm only going to do probably three to four. So the question is, what are they thinking releasing all these PS Move games that same week? They're just out of their mind. Um, but at the same time, they probably want to get those games out before the Kinect comes out for Xbox 360, which is incidentally the week after. So I kind of understand that, but they really should have pushed to try to get those games out earlier this month when there was more time to play them, because now it's just grind, uh, yeah, it's, it's grind time, it's, it's crunch time. And I, I don't think people are going to be running out to buy PS Move games, to be completely honest. So, um, got a quick sip here, sorry guys. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure why they're doing that, but they're doing that. Um, if they do happen to come out this week and I get word, I will be running out to grab them and maybe play a little bit of them. But for the most part, this week is going to be so busy with Fallout New Vegas and Vanquish, there's probably nothing else that's going to be on the docket. Um, <clears throat> so, that's it for this week. Now, what else will be happening this week? Um, there will be another Smart Guys coming up later this week. I will probably be doing a channel update or two during the week. There will definitely be an unboxing video tomorrow for the new games that I'll be getting, and especially because it's a, the first real collector's edition of the year outside of Alan Wake that I've purchased. Uh, I take that back. I did get the collector's edition of Mass Effect 2 as well. But, you know, I know people love to see that kind of stuff, what comes with it, if it's worth it to get it, so I'll be looking at that. Um, there will definitely be another Cooking with the King episode. Unfortunately, this time the recipe didn't turn out as I planned, so it actually, the, it, what it ended up being, it didn't look very appetizing, but when I actually ate it, it did taste good. So, we'll be doing that, and there might be, there might be one or two of those, depending on what I do this week. I'm actually, I've been thinking in my head other things that I can cook that aren't like super nasty, unhealthy stuff too, but stuff that might, people might want to learn how to do. Um, so, I've been thinking about that, and I have a couple ideas in my head. I might do those this week. I do actually have two more episodes of DSP Tries It queued up, uh, one of which is something that people have been asking for, so I'll probably release those over the course of the week, and then anything else that happens over the course of this week, I'll definitely be, be making videos on the King of Hate HD. Um, so just to recap, on DSP Gaming, you're going to see Fallout New Vegas and Vanquish gameplay this week. On the King of Hate HD, you're going to see everything else, including the unboxing videos, the channel updates, DSP Tries It, Smart Guys. Um, cooking with the King, all that goes on the King of Hate HD. I want to remind everyone, if you didn't see the video yesterday, I don't blame you because I put it up super late and it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I have a website. It is thekingofhatehd. I'm sorry, I screw it up. I, I screw it up every time, I swear. You have no idea how many cuts I did yesterday making that video. It's thekingofhate.com. Not the King of Hate HD, it's thekingofhate.com. And what you're going to see on the main page is a really cool layout, a template that these, uh, these guys who uh, basically offered to make this website for me for free have created. What that's going to do is give you updates on everything going on on all of my channels. It's going to tell you what playthroughs are going on. Uh, it's got links at the top that basically show every channel that I do. It's got a link to my Cafe Press store. And the coolest thing about it is the forums. The forums are up and active, but I want to warn everyone it's getting pounded right now because of the video I made yesterday. I mean, thousands of people are checking it out every hour, and it's constantly going down. I believe right now it's actually purposely down for server maintenance. They're upgrading their servers right now to try to get better capacity, but it's up and running. We have a 1,000 users already registered on the site and actively posting. There's actually this really cool shoutcast box, which is like a live running chat as well. So if you get a chance this week, go check it out. I'm being told that by Friday, the site should be fully operational, but if there's any updates during that time, I'll definitely let you know. And keep in mind, you can donate to become a premium member and you get some benefits. Check out the forums for information on that. That also adds to the, the helping of keeping this site maintained. The guys who are doing this to me are doing it for completely for free out of their own pocket. So any money that you can donate is definitely going to help these guys to make this site outstanding. This is something that I think we've all been wanting to work towards for a long time. And now that it's finally here, I'm ecstatic. So go check that out. And if there's any more updates on it during the week, I'll definitely let you know. So I'm DSP. This is going to be an exciting week. I can't wait. Um, <clears throat> for the rest of today, you're going to see Kirby's Epic Yarn on DSP Gaming until I beat it. I actually have to sit down here and finish it. And uh, that's what you're going to see gameplay-wise today. Until tomorrow, when we start with Fallout New Vegas. So, thanks a lot, guys. See you then.